This is along the theme of planes, trains, and automobiles. It's an interesting compass diagram. For single do here, logic trace is defined the four corners of the diagram by touching the four corners of the paper diagram as shown. The first command in logic trace that I'm going to use is the line command. I always mention that I use a red pencil to indicate where I've started my tracing. It helps me keep track of what's been traced and also stops having a crossed vector. Here I'm going to select the curve fit command and touching spots along that curve and then the trace command and the curve fit again. The diagram is detailed and again I wanted to mention that I print my diagrams large. This is about an 18 by 18 inch diagram so it's easily traced because there are a lot of small parts. Diagram is interesting because I get a chance to use all the commands, the trace command, the line command, the arc command, and the curve fit. Each one of these selectable commands makes your tracing a lot quicker and a lot easier with logic trace. I've traced out a lot of compasses, but this one was very interesting because of all the different themes along that compass axis. The other thing worth mentioning here is that I save my work frequently and the unique part of the program is that it saves two copies. It saves the copy that you're saving which in my case is a DXF but it also saves a working copy with called TLG. What's interesting about the TLG copy is that you can reload that TLG copy so if you want to take a break or just go away from your tracing for a day or two all you do is you load that TLG copy and it puts you right back to where you stop tracing. Very quick, very accurate. I use that feature a lot. Pretty well finished up with all the tracing and now I'll save my final DXF file. I'll be loading that final DXF file into Lightburn. Lightburn is the software for the fiber laser. Here the file, which is in metric, will be sized and the settings will be applied to do the engrave. We'll also take a look at the preview to see how the file is going to look. Once I'm happy with that, I'll send it to the laser. The engrave is going to take a little bit over an hour, so I really sped up the video here. It's actually sped up about 16 times, and there's also a camera shot from the inside of the enclosure. There's also a ventilation port at the back of the enclosure, which ventilates to the outside. It's complete now. It looks good. So that's a stainless plate with an engraving of a compass.